Ah, <laughs> uh, Dunkel Ostius. Classic. Hey there, rock stars. Michael Stone here. Here at uh, Rock Talk, we take rocks very seriously. As you may have noticed, we like talking about rocks, watching rocks, and occasionally smashing rocks. All very good and fun. But what I've realized is with all this going on and things getting busier and busier, we've never stopped to smell the rocks, so to speak, and discuss what a rock actually is and what it isn't. So I'd like to take the time to kind of go over that with you all today, make sure that we review the important nuances there and discuss uh, kind of the exceptions even to what makes up a rock and how that can help us understand the world a little bit better and also get a, a lot more out of maybe even some of my previous videos as well. So let's dive into that right now and get rocking and rolling. So, rocks. They're pretty much everywhere. You see them on the ground. You see them mostly on the ground, actually. Sometimes you pick them up. Sometimes you throw them at people. You know. Um, back in the day, you used to throw them a lot at people. Yeah. You know. Um, can't remember where I was going at with that. But, what, you know, what exactly, what exactly are, are they? And, and, um, and first off, rocks are, of course, solid at the point where rocks become liquid. They're no longer considered rocks. It's considered a lava or a magma, depending on um, where it's at in the earth. So a rock, first off and most importantly, has to be a solid, not a liquid or a gas. Second, rocks are going to be a naturally occurring substance on the planet. It isn't something generated by um, people or generated by a uh, another kind of animal which there are some actual exceptions to that I'll get into in a little bit. Lastly, rocks are made up of minerals. In most cases, rocks will be like this piece of granite right here. It'll have multiple minerals. We have biotite, quartz, and feldspar, meaning that this rock has three minerals. However, you can also have this piece of limestone here, which is actually made up of just calcium carbonate, which is its own, um, which is just one kind of, of mineral. Um, rocks can be composed of lots and lots of minerals or just one different kind. It all depends. The limestone, however, is interesting because limestone is made up of the tiny dead bodies of microscopic organisms that float around in the ocean and then they die and settle on the sea floor. So this is actually a rock that's composed of tiny dead organisms and tiny dead things. Limestone is also similar to this rock right here called a coquina, coquine, which is a um, just a formation of a bunch of different um, body parts of sea animals that have all been squished and compressed together to form one rock. These are two exceptions to our naturally forming um, view there. These are technically naturally forming. They're formed by natural body parts, natural body pieces, but the technical body parts and body um, part pieces of these animals aren't necessarily minerals, which I'll actually get to in another video. So that's an important distinction to make between those kinds of rocks. Coal is another good example because coal is made up of the organic compounds of um, a plant matter that have been compressed and squeezed together that then forms a rock. It's not a mineral. There's no actual mineral substance in there because it's all organic compounds, um, but it is technically considered a rock. All these kinds of rocks are biogenic rocks, meaning that they're made up of old living matter which is pretty neat. In one of my previous episodes, I talk about the rock cycle, how rocks form, how they become different kinds of rocks, and how all of that um, kind of um, interplays with each other and can kind of go back and forth, which is really cool. If you haven't, I highly recommend checking that video out. In general, there are three different kinds of rocks that we go off of, not including those weird exceptions that I mentioned earlier. We have sedimentary rocks, like this limestone, 
formed from the compression of sediments, be it tiny pieces of dead animals or just tiny pieces of other rocks that get compressed and squished together. And then we have igneous rocks like this piece of granite, rocks that have solidified from a liquid or near liquid state. And then we have the last one, which is our metamorphic rocks. This rock here has been compressed. This rock, when it formed, had parallel layers to it, but since it has been squished and compressed so much, it's actually formed these waves, these curves in it, which is really neat. Pretty cool stuff. Excuse me, I was just rocking out there. Um, if you wanna be a rock star, kids, you gotta know your rocks, it's important. You gotta know your difference between your nices and your schists and, you know, and your tourmalines and your smyrmalines and your marmalines, and I may have made those last two up, but you get the general idea. You get the gist, <laughs> the gist of what I'm trying to say. Oh my god, god! So there you have it, folks. That's what a rock is and what a rock isn't. You might be saying to yourself, though, Hey, Michael Stone, your definition of a rock is dependent on the definition of a mineral. And to that I say, sit down! Chill out. Have like a, a glass of water or something, you know? It's good for you. Oh, that's good. That's good stuff. Yeah. And uh, tune in next week where we talk about what a mineral is and what a mineral is not. Catch you then. Rock talk, rock talk, party time, excellent. Well, this is a piece of shit. The f The schist? Bobby? What the schist is going on here, Bobby? Let me know what you thought about this video. Let me know if you'd like to see um, other details, other um, nuances of Geology 101 explained for you. I'm trying to do my best to make sure that we don't kind of just rush out into really deep water here and that I'm really careful about explaining exactly what's going on and um, hopefully I'm helping, helping um, everybody out. So please let me know. So feel free to comment, like, and subscribe if you liked my video and you'd like to see more like it. Until next time, rock stars, take care, and we'll keep on rocking with rock m m minerals next time. So we'll mineral up. Yeah. <laughs>